what's up everybody? I'm Clarissa Santiago. Some of you might know me from the pageant director of Latina New York USA. Others might know me from being the American princess on the official reality show American Princess on WeTV. All of you can find me at clarissa-santiago.net. Today we're here at John Ricard's studio and I'm going to talk to you about lighting. Now, of course, John knows way more about lighting than I do, but wouldn't you rather see me telling you about it? Well, first we're going to start with lighting, as I mentioned. See this big old thing here? This light is used by a lot of photographers for a special type of lighting technique that we're going to try today. But this costs thousands of dollars, and you don't need this to get the type of effect that we're going to show you today. So get ready, because it's about to get real hot in here. And we're back, and what we have here today are three on-camera flashes. We're going to be using these today to get the lighting effect that you would get from the big $1,000 lights. So you'll see the effect that we're about to do. The thing about it is that a lot of you probably have this right in your own house. Well, we're going to show you how to use the on-camera flash technique at home wirelessly. That's right, no wires. Now, you might be wondering why we have three flashes. Well, each one serves its purpose. The master flash is the one that we're going to use to slide right onto the camera. The master flash is going to control the power in our remote flashes. The first thing that we want to do is take our master flash and put it in wireless mode. To do this, all we have to do is turn it on. Once it's on, hold down the middle key. Once you're at this screen, select master and hold until you're in wireless mode. So now that we have our wireless master ready to go, we want to change it to manual mode. In order to do that, we're going to select the mode button and keep pressing it until you get the M for manual. So now that our master flash is set, we want to go ahead and set our remote flashes. In order to do that, all you have to do is hold down the select button, Hold down the select button to this screen. Once you're here, push it again. And now we're going to scroll down to the word remote. Hold down the middle button again. So now this flash is in remote mode. Now we're going to set our second flash. So again, we're going to hold down the middle button until we get this screen. Once we're here, we're going to hold it down again. We're going to select remote mode, push down the middle button, and now both of our flashes are in remote mode. You might wonder why these flashes are in manual mode. Well, that's because these flashes operate in manual mode and not TTL. So we make this flash manual mode as well. So now that our camera is set up and we've got our master flash set on here, we want to pull the bounce card so that we make the lighting really soft. Then we want to put the remote flashes on both sides of our canvas here. We're going to take our remote flash and we're going to direct it towards the wall so that it keeps the wall nice and white and there aren't any shadows. Now I'm going to change. Let's take some pictures. All right, Clarissa, so I'm going to kind of let you go on your own for a minute. Just do what's comfortable to you. I'm not going to over-direct you. Ready? Okay, sounds great. Go. Great, can you shoot something this side now? Okay. I'm like 
thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, I'm Clarissa Santiago, clarissa-santiago.net, or of course, the wonderful world of myspace.com forward slash CS is the Empress. So that concludes our show today, our three light setup. Now you know how to do this lighting, so go and do a good job. Make sure you let us know how it looks. We want to see, okay? And uh, that was on set with John Ricard. So uh, make sure you tune in next time, and we'll talk about uh, this wire here that basically, um, ah, never mind. We'll leave it for the next show. Take care. Bye. I'm here at NYBJJ. This is where I train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in New York City. And I'm doing some pictures for him today. And I'm going to actually be using the same system that Clarissa showed a few minutes ago. So, what we have here is our Nikon D3 and our SB800 flash. And then we have another flash here, which is going to be bounced onto our white ceiling. And we have a second wireless flash set up here. And this is all we're going to be using to take these pictures. So there's a rather interesting mode on this flash that I like to use sometimes. So this is going to be the main flash, the one that's mounted on the camera. I'm going to put it into wireless mode now. And I'm going to put, tell the, the flash that it's the master. And you see this little dotted line here. What that means is that this master flash is going to trigger my A flash and my B flash, but it's not going to add any light to the picture. I kind of like that mode because if I want to move closer to the subject or move further away, I'm not adding any light for my flash because if I did, each time I moved closer, I'd be putting out more light. When I backed up, I'd be putting out less light. So this gives me the freedom to move without really worrying about how much light I'm putting out with the flash that's on the camera. All of the lighting is coming from my A flash here and my B flash here, and I'm going to start the light checks right now as Marcos and Vita work out the techniques. So let's just break the first technique down into four to six steps. And then Marcos, let me know, like, step one, step two. And this is just practice right now. Step one, step two. Let's go. That's good. That's going to work. That's good. So that's going to be the first sequence of six. The first sequence. Okay. So let's shoot that. Just keep in mind, we're going to go a little bit slow because I'm using batteries here, so I have to kind of wait for them to recycle. So be a little okay. slow. Right, right, right. But I'll count. You're going to go one picture, then I'll say go to two. And okay. So you notice this system. By having this flash set to the dashes here. I don't know if we're seeing that in the camera. Hopefully we are. Again, this flash is not putting out any light. All it's doing is triggering these two flashes. And that lets me move closer or further back without adding any light from this flash. The only other thing you have to be careful of, when you're bouncing light like this, you know they're bouncing off the white wall? I'm getting a problem because the wall isn't really white and it's producing a kind of orange tint. Usually I would have used the Expo Disc attachment. You can look it up online, I guess. You put the Expo Disc on the lens and you do a test shot for your white balance and it gives you the correct colors. I didn't do that today, so what I did instead was I left the Expo Disc by mistake. So I'm shooting in raw mode down here, and in raw, I can put it in like Lightroom or something and make a few adjustments to the color and get the skin a little bit better. But and hold that for two shots, though. Stay there. Good, if I get the side. That's right. Okay. Good. You see the photo here, the photo. Oh, yeah.